Definitely not prepared for that. Yeah. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is a delivery for the gym and it was heavy. The delivery driver didn't want to drive the truck up here to the gym. So we needed to uh, use the, uh, the pallet jack, push this up to the gym, but it is finally here. I've been waiting so long for this. Um, came from overseas uh, from the UK so I'm, I can't wait to get this unpacked and show you guys what we got finally got the package open here and as you can probably see this is a custom dumbbell rack and these are custom Shaw Strength Watson dumbbells. So let's go ahead and break this box open. I've been waiting for this moment for quite a while. Uh, I ordered these um, a while ago and with you know everything going on in the world, the shipping got delayed of course and the uh, production got delayed a little bit, but they're finally here and I cannot wait to see what this looks like inside this box. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see which one this one is. So these are dumbbells that are between, the lightest one is 180 pounds, so a pair of 180 pound dumbbells. And then I've got 190s, 200s, 210s, 220s, and 230s. So this, is oh this is the 210 so this is the first time i'm seeing this right here so we got the uh the shaw strength built in uh with my logo and then uh, the weight as well and these whew, those are awesome and the handles the handles came out great as well uh for me they're um just a little bit a little bit thicker so really uh, more, a lot more comfortable um, grabbing these things. So those are, those are awesome. That's a, <laughs> that's everything, everything I was hoping that these would be without a doubt. So uh, I think what we got to do is uh, we got to get the rest of them unboxed here and then uh, get the um, dumbbell rack set up and in position, figure out where that's going to go in the gym and then uh, bring them inside and set them up. Just got the dumbbells inside and I uh, was trying to hustle through this because I actually have to head to an appointment, but I'll be honest, I was too excited. I wanted to get these things unboxed. So uh, here they are and they are absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited about this, and as you can tell, I am drenched in sweat, so um, they are, are heavy, for sure. And uh, I got them inside. Like I said, I have to head out to an appointment, so come back, get the, uh, the custom um, dumbbell rack set up, get them all in position, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see these things in place, but uh, I'm blown away. Um, Watson definitely knocked it out of the park with these dumbbells, and uh, I'm very appreciative because as you guys have known for a while, I am in need of some heavier dumbbells. So here they are and um, yeah, I'm just talking because I'm excited. I'm gonna go, I'm late to the appointment. Can't wait to get back and get these things set up. Don't touch the ball, it's over, call it close, but we all know what this is gonna be. You came to so here we go, finished product. Dumbbells are in place, and uh, I gotta say, these things are pretty unreal. Uh, shiny, and they definitely make uh, my other dumbbells over here. 
look pretty insignificant, if I do say so. And uh, it makes me want to very, very badly like graduate from this rack of dumbbells to this rack of dumbbells. So it's like a, uh, a goal, a goal rack of dumbbells. I'll put it that way. I mean, I have needed bigger dumbbells for literally for years. And I've kind of put feelers out and I've had people looking for them for me and uh, was never really able to find uh, anything as far as like a complete set or something I could add onto my dumbbell collection. So um, I reached out to uh, um, Watson and, and uh, they were like, yeah, we can handle that, make these bigger dumbbells. And I've seen other people uh, that have got these uh, Watson dumbbells before and I've always uh, been um, really uh, in love with them, if, if uh, I'm being honest, you know. Charles Poliquin, uh, who uh, uh, passed away, I was going down and doing some training with him. He had the biggest set of dumbbells I've ever seen in my life. I think they were literally like a, a one kilo jump up. The, his whole gym was lined with dumbbells. So uh, it's, it's something else. So I'm uh, very appreciative uh, to Watson for, uh, for hooking me up with those. And um, yeah, I think at some point after seeing these, I might have to consider uh, replacing all of these. But uh, these hold some sentimental, sentimental value to me, so probably not gonna happen right away. But we also have some other additions to the gym. So the dumbbells are by far the, uh, the crowning piece, and um, I could probably just sit here and stare at them all day, but let's go check out those other pieces of equipment. Next up, we've got two pieces of equipment that I uh, actually had to have my buddy Steven with Super Fitness Gym Equipment look around for. And I was like, hey, if you ever come across these pieces, I would like to have them for my gym. And he was able to come by both of them. So this is a uh, standing chest press and um, just a very different feel to the machine. I'll hop in here and do a couple reps for you guys. As you can tell, I, uh, I fit in here pretty tight. But once I get set, it's a pretty awesome movement. So just a standing chest press and you can really dig in and, uh, and uh, get a great range of motion because the uh, middle of this is open. So really good stretch at the bottom, really good range of motion. And then it's pretty convenient because it just has a, uh, a safety on the back you lift up with your heel. So uh, several different grips as you guys can see and then a, uh, a neutral grip as well which, um, you know, working on things like uh, tricep power for log press, things like that. So some really good accessory movements with that. And I really uh, have liked that machine when I've used it in the past. Then we have a uh, Flex Fitness Converging Incline Chest Press. So as you guys have seen in, in some of my videos, I have the, um, the seated chest press, which is also converging. One of my favorite pieces of equipment uh, for chest accessory work. So I was unbelievably pumped uh, to find this and these are ridiculously rare. They're, they're almost impossible to find. So found it, got it here, got it together. And as only Brian Shaw would have a uh, problem fitting on something like this, I did. So here's what happened. I sat down really excited to use this. Got in position and I can't press it all the way up. So again, in my life, I don't fit on something or in something. So what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna have to get this customized because I'm not giving up on it. I wanna be able to use it and I'm gonna have somebody just uh, widen out the handles for me, figure that out. So. Uh, so I can have a custom Brian Shaw Flex Fitness uh, incline press. So that'll be next. And then certainly last but not least, uh, we've got some amazing toys from Rogue Fitness. So I'll start with these. These are more uh, sandbags because as I've told you guys, I am working on my uh, speed conditioning, things like that. So these are actually some smaller sandbags so I can work on that. Uh, so I got to get all of those filled up. This beautiful thing is a rubber Atlas stone. And these are actually brand new. Uh, Rogue just came out with these. Um, this is the biggest one that they have. They have a full set of different weights, but this 200 is the biggest one. And I'm going to be using that as well for some conditioning. Um, but 
I uh, couldn't wait for the video and I've already, as you can see, broken it out and uh, been playing with it. So uh, really impressed with this overall. It's kind of got some grooves and once you uh, get it out of the package and get a little bit of chalk on it, um, it's very, very good because you have to squeeze it really hard uh, to train with it. And then uh, we have this awesome uh, pad and what this pad is actually for um, and the only reason I really got it is for using this body tempering roller. So this is a 110 pound body tempering roller uh, that Donnie Thompson worked with Rogue uh, to come out with. So I'm gonna lay down on here and essentially get tortured, like rolling out my calves and my back and hamstrings and, and uh, basically everything uh, you can do with that. But it's just a uh, great method of treatment, especially when you've got a lot of muscle tissue uh, that you need to diffuse. So um, that's something that I'm gonna start playing with more. So I can't wait to, uh, actually I can wait, but I can't. It's kind of one of those things that's kind of a hate-love relationship because it causes a lot of pain, but gets a lot of results. So anyway, we've got to find the home for where these pieces are going to go. And uh, excited to be adding to the gym and can't wait to show you guys some more training with these new awesome pieces of equipment. For now, go out and be great. We'll check you guys later.